Okay, I'm lazy. It's nearly two in the morning, and this is like my fourth attempt at this bloody at this bloody thing. So uh, as you can see, there is a ban list here. Not a hundred percent sure if it's the real one. People are saying that it's a, the confirmed list. If it is, whatever. But I'm just gonna film this or record this uh, opinions video. And if this is the real ban list, then this will just go up on YouTube and stuff like that. But yeah, like I said, this is my fourth time trying this. It's getting really annoying how I am just screwing this thing up. So, screw it. Um, so the ban list it, it itself, I will read it out. Uh, Sangin and Z Wind Up Carrier Zen Mighty are on the band. Uh, Limited, Wind Up Magician, One Day of Peace and Solemn Warning. Uh, Semi Limited, Sukayomi, Ryo, Thunder King Ryo, and Advanced Ritual Art. And Unlimited, Spore, Blackwing Colote, the Moon Shadow, Lumina Light Sworn Summoner, and Shen Smoke Signal. I think the first thing I can point out here is that they didn't hit quite as many cards as I thought they would. It because they they've hit a grand total of twelve cards. That's not a huge amount. I I, I think I, I think they've really underdone it. I mean, there's a couple of uh, decks that they, that I thought could should have could have and maybe should have been hit. Prophecies being the big one, because now the format's pretty much going to be dominated by them. If anything's going to be a tier zero next format, it's going to be them. It's just kind of crazy. Fire fists and mermaids. I didn't think they'd get hit because they haven't been like they haven't been around long enough. And they're just finding their feet in the game, so basically to hit them would be... It, it just wouldn't be how Konami works. They work for they, they work purely to get money. They don't really give a crap about the opinions of players. So hitting them would be completely pointless. It's like Insect Doors and, and the wind-up loop last year. It's pretty much the same thing. So it's just kind of derpy like that. And so, yeah, when Divine Judgment of the Spellcasters comes out, the Prophecy deck's going to go incredibly stupid with their pluses. And they're probably going to win the, the World Championships. But anyways, I might as well go into each individual card now. Starting off with Sangin. With this, Torguide has lost its soulmate, pretty much. This guy pretty much comboed with the Torguide. We all went we all went crazy when the whole bloody ruling thing was stated that Xyz monsters are treated as on the field and then they took it back and then it's all this and that and the next thing. But it didn't stop Sangin and Tour Guide from being pretty much the glamour couple of the of the uh of this card game. That isn't the case anymore because Sangin is now being forced into exile. Meaning Tour Guide needs to find something else. Uh the first direction people would be looking towards would be Torbus, and, and as a result, that needs to that would need to get reprinted so that it's easier to get. It's still a secret rare. People are going to be going f probably for that to replace the Sangin, and so the price is going to hike a shit loaf, considering it's a secret rare. So, it's kind of interesting. Sangin search down a bunch of shit. It slows those sorts of decks down that searches out the shit, like a Macro Rabbit. People have actually called Macro Rabbit dead. They've actually called Macro Rabbit to be to be now officially dead simply with the loss of Sangin. They still have tour guides. They still have Rescue Rabbits. I mean, yes, they can't... I mean, no, they can't search the Rescue Rabbit out anymore with this thing, but Macro Rabbit is not dead. Sangin did not kill it. It's... It's going away because it eventually had to go away at some point. And from a personal point of view, I'm not really complaining. I can work my way around this. So, yeah. Wine of Carrier Zen Mighty comes as a bit of a surprise. I mean, from my point of view, I mean, for, for me, it was definitely a surprise. Because um, I didn't think Zen Mighty was, like, the absolute quintessential broken piece of crap in the wind-up list in the wind-up setup. Apparently it is. To, at least in Konami's point of view. Um, so yeah, Zen Mighty's gone. It it did provide... It did... The one copy that players did have did... Uh, it, 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 it did commit a pretty decent uh, role 
in doing all the shenanigans to get out Shockmaster and really screw the opponent over first turn. So I suppose in that manner, it would be fair enough to get rid of the Zen Mighty, just outright. With this ban, though, it becomes the first Xyz monster to be banned, at least from my memory. I, th I think this is the first one. Everybody was calling Leviathan to be the first one banned. I don't see any reason why Leviathan should be get should get hit, but whatever. I'm just floating away into pointless crap. But yeah, Zen Mighty, bit of a surprise. Still not going to complain. It's just the it's just the the wind up players themselves that are going to be butt hurt over this because it's like it's like with Magician, they were probably expecting this to get put to one, but then they can still do stuff with the Zen Mighty. Zen Mighty is now banned. So what do they do? They just build something else, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, one at Magician at one is the one thing I wanted more than anything else in this ban list. One at Magician, I singled this thing out as the one pe one very, very, very pivotal piece of the wind-up puzzle. And to put this at one, it, it simply put, it is the best thing. To go with the Zen Minds ban, that would pretty much... It's definitely the windups are definitely not tier one. People are calling them dead. You could probably say that they're dead. They're not tier one. Not a lot of people are going to run them. That would define dead. So I guess that's just fair enough. But yeah, minor magician really needed to get put to one. People wanted to see this get put to two. Like, no, seriously, just shut up. Wind up magician needed to get put to one. People who agree with me are the ones with the brains. It just... Ugh. I won't go into too much of a tangent about this because I don't want to spark a crazy, stupid argument. So the other limited cards are One Day of Peace. This is fair enough. I mean, while I do use a playset of these in my Exodia deck and my Xyz Beatdown deck... I actually really, really hate stalling with a passion. As like, aside from doing Exodia stuff, because you pretty much kind of got to do that. I mean, I, I feel like I pretty much have to do that, because, like, I'm not going to build some stupid Blue Eyes Exodia thing, because that just isn't fair. It just ain't right, son. It's just wrong. But with something like One Day of Peace, it... It pisses people off when you're waiting for that one day of peace effect to wear off. It wears off, opponent draws, plays another one day of peace. It's like rage. And then once that's gone off, they play a Swords of Revealing Light. It's just like... I mean, this is just coming from the strategies I use in my Exodia deck, so I'm probably going to get a kick in the pants for this, but it doesn't really matter. I don't really care too much about losing two copies of this. It needed to happen because it was a very, very annoying store card. It, it, it was as simple as that. Solemn Warning. Solemn Warning to one makes this format just that little bit more strategic because if you warning because with the one with the one that you have left, if you can set it off, you gotta set it off you gotta set it off on the right thing, or else you're gonna get butt fucked. And even then, you gotta be lucky enough to actually have the thing on the field at the time that the opponent summons the monster that you want to hit. And since you're at one, you have less chance of drawing into it. Plus, if your opponent ever tees it, it's goodnight Irene. So, this thing is going to be a lot more... Like, the use for this is going to be so much more strategic. It's very much... It's going to be very much like Solemn Judgment. I can imagine players running one warning and one judgment as staple in every single deck now. I mean, it, 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 it's pretty much what's going to have to happen. Unless people want to fit something else in, I don't really know. Heretics could try uh, Horn of Heaven, because then they actually get the trim off of the uh, Heretic monster and get another monster. Zero defense, but whatever. Semi-limited cards, start off with the Tsukuyomi whatever. It can be annoying. I mean, it's a Book of Moon on legs, so it can be very annoying to screw over effects like uh, Zen Mines and Utopia and everything like that. I don't really care too much about it, to be blatantly honest. Let it go to wherever the hell it wants. If it becomes a journeyman like Kale Sorcerer, I don't really care. It, it's just It's just this thing. 
Thunder King. Thunder King actually kind of surprises me to be put to two. I, the only thing, I think the only decks that are hurt by Thunder King being put to two are probably like anti-meta decks because they'd probably run a playset of this. Um, I'd imagine Macro Rabbit or well, Dino Rabbit in general would run a playset of these. So they probably are kind of a bit butt hurt by this. But two Thunder Kings are still not bad. I mean, I'm still going to keep an eye out for it. I'm still going to be doing everything I can to keep it off the field, considering I am... I, considering a bunch of the decks I run spam the shit out of searching. So it's just... Yeah. What, one less Thunder King does not hurt me because I run two... I, run, I, I, I strictly run two in every side deck I play. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm not... I, I, I have no reason to complain about this. I can be somewhat happy because it's just one less thing that stops me from searching my shit. Advanced Ritual Light is interesting. And it's also being done in post because I did not know that it was already at one to begin with. Yeah, um, this one's actually kind of interesting. It's weird. I don't have much to say about this, but I suppose now Herald of Perfections is going to get an extra bit of a boost, which is just going to be incredibly stupid and annoying. And it helps Gishkis out a bit, I guess. So, um, yeah. Whatever. Spore. I think about... I think a great number of players would agree with me when I say it was the... When I say, why the fuck would you ban this thing in the first place? Let alone put it to one. Justice has been done by putting this th thing back to three. There was no reason to put it on the ban list in any category in the first place. Glow up bulb was the one that pissed peep that 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 the plants needed, and Konami realized this. This is, I guess, the one smart thing that Konami actually did. But then again, it doesn't cover for the fact that they actually put this thing onto the ban list in the first place, which is among the dumbest of moves you could possibly do. So, you're still not getting any kudos from me, Konami. I'm sorry. Okay, Blackwing Kalut. Uh, interesting, to say the least. Um, three Kalutes is pretty crazy, sort of. Like, Blackwing players now... Like, with, like a couple of formats ago, Blackwing players would rage if they banish Kalut because that could well have helped them late game. Now if they banish Kalut, they're not going to give two knobs a goat shit because they've got two more copies that they can dig out. And they can dig out and, and it's easy to, for them to dig it out with Black Whirlwind out. So they're not going to complain. Black Wings, I don't think, are going to be incredibly crazy like they used to be. But this just adds a little bit of extra power to them and I think that they'll be pretty handy. Especially when you consider uh, Sylphie and the Cold Bird Beast. It, that just brings a new meaning to the term stack wings. But, yeah, I think Black Wing is now just pretty much becoming a swarm slash power deck instead of just being sort of a swarm deck, which is sort of interesting because I did used to run Black Wings and take a very genuine interest in them. Lumin oh, sorry about that. My belches fail. Uh, anyways, Luminar, Light Sworn Summoner. Apologies for that. I just had to take a drink to, in order to ensure my throat does not get ripped to shreds. But yeah, Lumina at three. Hmm, that's interesting. It's. Jesus, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what I can, where I can begin with with Lumina at three. It seems somewhat interesting. I mean, I can imagine people hating the crap out of Light Swans, and with Lumina at three, they'll probably be pissed. I mean, with this at 3 and JD at 3, it's like, welcome back Twilight, except not quite because, you know, they don't have Sangin to search shit out anymore, but then they probably don't run Sangin anyways, do they? Because it just gets milled too much. I, I don't really know. It's been a long time, it's been a while since I, since I played my Twilight deck, so I couldn't really give two knobs a goat shit. My mind is disappearing fast. Yeah. But yeah, Luminar at three is a bit is gonna make Light Swans a little bit crazier. I don't think they'll be right at the top, but who knows, maybe they will. Shen Smoke Signal at three. 
like the Samurais need any more freaking assistance. I mean, people called for Gateway to get banned, and that's not happening. The other list that, that, that had, like, Goya returning put this to three along with Legendary Six Samurai Shen at two. That was incredibly insane. I guess with Shed Smoke Signal at three, it's... Ugh, it's kind of weird. Like, I somewhat welcome it because I still have my Six Samurai deck there so I can get this and just be like, okay, this is pretty cool, I can do this, sort of. But I, I can imagine that there are a lot of people out there that are going to be pissed at this. Like, it, it, it's simply put, it's just, yeah, kind of there. So, yeah, I, I'm not going to complain about this. Many people will. <coughs> Richie. <coughs> Um, but yeah, pretty much. So, yeah. That's the list. I apologize if I went into any weird tangents in, in this. But, uh, basically, like, I mean, like I said at the start, I thought they could have maybe hit a few more things. Uh, like if they could hit anything more from what I could see, I would have to say, uh, Ultimate Offering is definitely one that needs, that would need to get uh, hit, because 10 Goldfish, I've gone on a tangent about this before, comes out in Hidden Arsenal 7, if you combine that and the gadgets with Ultimate Offering, you're going to get out Gigant, you're going to get out Gigant after Gigant after Gigant. It's like, you're going to bust out two Gigants, and then you can either go for the third one, or drop a Shockmaster, seal off the opponent's traps, and then just limit a removal in and proceed to commit unbridled shredding. I can imagine, yeah, I can imagine it trolling a bit. But you know, and as I said, prophecies probably could have been hit. But I guess Konami are still driven by the desire for more money, so they're not going to do that. What I would like to see now that this, with this legitimate ban list, is a tour bus reprint because. Since tour bus is, it tour bus. I wouldn't. I'm not sure if tour bus would be held by many, by everybody, to be the perfect replacement for tour guide. I would definitely hold it in that position because, I mean, you need four cards to make the tour to make the tour guide engine, with two tour guides, because that way you will always have the tour guides. Because that way the tour guides will always be how, will always be live will almost always be live. So, I so from my point of view, I would just drop the Sangin since it's banned and throw in the tour bus and just leave the Night Assailant and two tour guides as they are. Of course, now with this, like I said, tour bus is probably going to get... It's probably going to like quadruple in price. But I guess that's the way the game goes. Fire Fists and Mermails... They didn't get hit. I didn't expect them to get hit. A friend of mine expected uh, 16 Shockmaster to get hit. That wasn't happening. It only just came out in the tin. So I don't see any reason why they would ban that if they... Well, because once again, money. It just That's just how it works. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I suppose I should just stop going on a tangent now. Like, If I feel like doing a video about what decks I think will be incredibly stupid and meta in the next format, then I'll do that just some other point in time. I'm just going to stop this video now because I've pretty much stri I've pretty much just gotten out everything that I've needed to, or at least that everything that I've remembered that, to get out. And yeah, I'm getting sick and tired of this because like I said, fourth time trying this. So um, yeah. Uh, bye.